Hope everyone's doing well. So this is Friday, the I forget what day Friday was, the eighth. This would be the ninth, excuse me. Gapped up. And you can see over here, gap down this day. Maybe we're channeling up, so maybe here's trend channel lines. You draw something like that, and maybe you move it up to here, and you're at the top of the channel, who knows? But either way, it's a gap up, you're always in long. Probably will close the gap, not a great looking buy above. But it's a gap up and it's not a great sell below. Bar two consecutive inside bars. If that do anything, maybe you buy above, stop below. Um, but you'll probably get stopped out. And if you, you know, you don't necessarily want to sell above because you may get a breakout and could get trapped. And then you get a big bull bar, so a 15 minute bar. It's a strong bar closing on its high. Bulls will buy above, stop below. It's always in long. Not enough reason to get out. Follow through but it's kind of delayed, so it's still follow through though. And you know, buy climax, pause, second buy climax. It's also a spike on a higher time frame. It's a micro channel. Odds are you're gonna find buyers below and at least go higher. So bulls will buy, stop down here, confident that they can buy more lower, or if it goes down, they can get out of break even. And you call it a wedge, one, two, three, but it's par it's parabolic in nature, but it's not a great wedge. It's too, it's pretty tight. Odds are if you sell below, you're gonna get stopped out. So it's not a great sell, but it will prove to find, bulls will be disappointed. So they bought here disappointed to look to get out of break even. And you can see it let the bulls actually even make money that bought there. So again, another wedge, one, two, three, and the tight channels are always forming wedges. That's very common. So you can draw it now one, two, and three and say, okay, you know, here's the first push, pause, second push, pause, third push, it's a wedge. I'm gonna get out below. But if you do, you may have to buy again lower. And you're you're thinking, oh wow, now I've got to buy higher. Why'd I get out here? Well, other bulls will say, you know, gee, this is very tight and we're not going much below bars, I'm gonna buy a couple points below, or maybe I'm gonna buy a scalp below, set a limit order, and get out at the highs. And that's what those traders did. So they see strength on the bears, and they buy. Scalpers, they sell, and sell more, and they buy back their shorts on strength. So bears are selling on strength, scalping out when it's looking bearish for the bears, Bulls are scalping out when it's high and buying when it's looks bearish for the bear. So people are selling and buying, but the problem here is it's not letting you buy a pullback. So if you wait and say, gee, I wanna get a pullback to the moving average, you could be waiting a very long time. Maybe it's a triangle, one, two, three, one, two, three, but tight channel. So if you're buying, probably stop down here and we're starting to rally. Decent pullback. Bulls will start buying the confident that worst case we go sideways, but use a wide stop. Probably the deepest pullback we've seen today. Finally got to the moving average. Could be a trap. You may have to get a second leg down and we may have to close below the moving average. Usually, Usually you will only see, so it's wedge one, two, three, testing the moving average. You may have to go a little bit lower and have a second leg down. And in this case, it looks like you didn't. We're testing the top, very tight channel. Very tight channel. So let me see, let me kind of blow it up for you. like this so tight channel but again haven't gotten below the moving average all day so it's the best the bears are going to do is sideways finally broke move below the moving average but let's see what the bulls will do and bulls bought so the bears they can't drive the market down that far and you know here we are more or less just kind of going sideways trying to fix the screen so i like a little more so again Sideways at the moving average, one, two, three, double bottom, triple bottom, it doesn't really matter what you call it. 
it's it's a triangle, but the channel's so tight, probably gonna go higher. And we just keep drifting above the moving average. And it's kind of more like it's you know, this day and this day are more or less the same. It's difficult because it just rides along the moving average, but when you look on a 60 minute chart, you see that this day opened at 31 and this closed to 76. So it consistently rallied for a decent period of time. Thanks for watching.